So today I'm going to make a quick video on some of my favorite budget hiking gear. All of this stuff does come from Decathlon. Before I get started, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to um, Justin Outdoors, who's one of my favorite outdoor camping, hiking, and gear recommendation outdoor YouTube channels. So a lot of these ideas did come from his video. There's a couple in here that I found as well that I wanted to include. So um, yeah, let's get right into it. I've been waiting a while to make this video because I purchased almost all of this stuff like two or three months ago. I just got back from a trip in the Alps with a bunch of snow and rain and um, pretty much all types of conditions, cold. And so I've really had a chance to test it out and see if it'll last as well because Obviously buying budget gear you want to know if it's gonna last that's pretty important and three months isn't super long But I've been using some of the stuff like every single day, so um, All of it has all of it that's gonna be in this video has held up super well so far So um, yeah, let's get right into it first thing on the list um, these were recommended to me by the Justin Outdoors channel and they're the um, four claw touch um, gloves and these things are freaking great for using your phone while you're out on the trail. Or if you have a camera that has touchscreen settings, it's like a must if it's really cold outside. So yeah, I've been using these pretty much every single day, even in the city, on the metro, like really putting them through their courses and the touch still works great. Not super warm, but absolutely warm enough for anything between like negative 5 degrees Celsius all the way up to like, you know, 10. So... That's what I use them for. So another thing, this one, this is in their hiking section at Decathlon, and it's literally just a super nice synthetic, it's not merino wool or anything, um, hiking shirt with like pit vents in the bottom. Yeah, I've been using this guy like every day to work out, and when I hike, there's like no signs of wear at all. It was only five bucks. Not too bad idea, it smells like shit right now. <laughs> but yeah, a great workout shirt for only five dollars, and um, one that's built around hiking and working out. And uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's just this guy right here. Um, I get the size medium. I'm 6'1", 175 pounds. It fits really snug against my body and wicks away sweat really nicely, so. Alrighty, so this other one, basically I went to Decathlon and I was just, they have so many really good options for merino wool that's really cheap. And I was just looking for their cheapest merino wool long sleeve shirt. And this is what I found. Luckily they had it in stock. They're almost always out of stock in the store. You have to order stuff online, but I wanted to try it on. So that's this guy right here. It was $26. It's a fully full merino wool v-neck long sleeve shirt. Super comfortable. I actually found it more comfortable than um, the $50 merino wool shirts that I almost always see there. But um, yeah, I found this guy for 26 bucks, not on sale or anything. I like it, number one, because it's a lot thinner than the other merino wool shirts they have, and I like really thin base layers, and it was even more comfortable. The other thicker merino wool shirts that were expensive at Decathlon are like 50 bucks, still not too bad. Their seams were like really pronounced. I don't know if they just needed to get worn in or what, but this was the most comfortable one I could find, and it was only $26, so not bad for a nice and durable merino wool base layer. Right, so the next one we have here is, um, I believe this was $6, it might have been $8, pretty medium fleece. Um, well, I'll add a shot in there of this guy, but just a neck zip fleece. It is plenty warm. This is all I brought on my for fleeces on my trip to the Alps. I, I did bring a bigger fleece but never needed it. Um, I was just wearing this with my Arteryx Proton and a short sleeve base layer and I was super warm between zero and five degrees. So yeah, for six bucks or eight bucks or whatever this thing is, absolutely great deal and would highly recommend it. The next thing are literally they sell $3 fleece gloves. So super epic by Four Claw. If you're looking for really cheap and still pretty decent quality outdoor gear, Four Claw, which is just spelled like this, it's not gonna focus again. They have a ton of really good stuff, all super cheap. Most of their stuff is made with recycled materials. So like at first when I went to Decathlon, I thought, okay, everything's cheap. It's probably like horrible for the environment. 
And that's actually not the case. It's just as good or even better than Patagonia in certain cases. While I believe most of it is made in China, a ton of it is using recycled polyester and all of their down is sourced by the, uh, the down standard. I forget what it's called, but like the standard that they're not picking feathers off of live geese. And while I don't know how true that is, I mean, it is good that they're abiding by that. I try to avoid down pretty much all the time just because I feel like that even if they go in and audit those places, like when the auditors leave, you're in a third world country and you have a down factory, like, of course they're going to be mean to the animals. Like, there's just no, even if it's audited by someone, like, there's just no way it's it, it's all like super ethical. Anyways, um, their down products do abide by the like gold down standard or whatever. Three dollar fleece gloves, had them for like four months now. Absolutely love them, super warm, super great. Next two items are their thirteen dollar merino wool beanie and their, I think also thirteen dollar merino wool buff. These are the two things that I have worn the most and put the most um, miles on, I would say. Pretty much every time I leave the house, I have my buff and my beanie, and I love it because they're super soft and they will literally fit in any pocket together or separate. It's just so easy. They're so easy to bring that I end up bringing them all the time. I used to have, instead of a buff, I had like a big neck warmer and I just never ended up using it because it was like big and bulky. And my other beanie, I had a North Face beanie and I love it, but it's just, it's big, and when I want to take it off, I have nowhere to put it, so I don't end up bringing it that many times. I can't even stress enough how handy it is to have a beanie and a buff that's just so small, you can fit it wherever the fuck you want, and you end up bringing it everywhere. And then merino wool. So for 26 bucks, you can get both of these or separate, whatever. Oh, okay. So this is my latest purchase, and one that I am super happy with. These are $6 Category 3, 100% UV decathlon biking sunglasses. And um, I don't use them for biking, but they have so much coverage. And I use these in the Alps with like sun against the snow even. And I absolutely love these guys. Seven bucks. They look great. They're full, like they're all one, the same material, so they don't look like all unnecessarily flashy. They're not reflective. They get the job done absolutely well. I don't know how durable they are because I actually have only had these guys for like two weeks. For seven bucks, a really good pair of shades that works in the snow with sun. I, I really like these guys. This is definitely something worth adding to the good deals list. Um, the decathlon sunglasses section also has, if you want to pay $20, they have polarized version of these. They look a bit different, but yeah, their cheapest polarized shades are 20. I think what really matters with sunglasses is the UV because the UV is what damages your eyes. So yeah, seven bucks. They're like, they're biking sunglasses. Just go on the Decathlon website and like sort through all their different um, categories and then sort price low to high. And that's what I did. And you can check if they have something in stock at a store and then you can go like try them out and see if they're good. And yeah, I hope this video helps because it is tough figuring out if the cheap stuff's gonna be good, but in my case, these $7 glasses are super phenomenal. All right, so last thing on the list, these I also heard about from Justin Outdoors channel. They're just um, like essentially what other brands would have as like Gore-Tex mitts. They're just waterproof mitts that go over your gloves. I had a chance to use these in, um, in the Alps for the past week, finally, and was just like picking up tons of snow holding my camera, um, was in pouring rain, like slushy snow, and they're super waterproof. They're not Gore-Tex, but they're great. They're $20. Uh, most other brands that sell mitts like this, like Outdoor Research, Patagonia, Mountain Equipment, the cheapest are gonna be like 80 bucks, I think. Outdoor Researches are like $100. So for $20, at Decathlon, you can get a pair that works just fine. So, would super highly recommend these guys. They, um, I have not been able to put them through like a year's worth of snow yet or anything, but they are waterproof. So, that's gonna be it for this video. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next review.